Hey guys, thanks for tuning in for another uh, episode here of Hook Sets and Freedom. This video is not really the kind of videos that I normally do on this channel. However, this vehicle or this Jeep works within that niche. So I thought I could share it with you guys as anglers and sort of give you guys my take on it uh, from an angler uh, standpoint um, what I love about it some things I don't really love about it and also just give you just my take in general as a as a family guy you know a guy with a family and you know some of you guys might be in the market to get a new vehicle and you might be looking for something to you know either pull your boat or just a bank hopper or whatever so you know this is definitely an outdoor type of vehicle and I just wanted to do a quick review on it share with you guys some things that I like and don't like about it so let's do this guys so I'm doing some off-roading here going through some rough terrain and the first thing I'm noticing about this Jeep is you just have a real good um, feeling of control you know all these little bumps and humps they're kind of just there and the, the Jeep just kind of you know kind of just glides through it all you know what I'm saying and it's just like just with the steering wheel you know it, you know turning the wheel with other vehicles I notice when you when you turn the steering wheel there's sort of this feeling of unsureness and you know you don't really feel what the vehicle's doing and I don't know if that's on purpose to make those vehicles more comfortable or what but to me I'd rather have a good feedback you know with with what my car is doing with what my wheels are doing and you just feel you, there's a really good feeling of control with this Jeep um, as far as the handling and as far as you know going through this rough terrain stuff you know it just feels like you're in control of it and I really really like that all right so I've, I've played around with this thing you know and sort of simulated off-road type terrains um, you know here in New Jersey there's not a whole lot of uh, areas where I would really put a Jeep like this to the test however I can just tell by the way it feels with you know the the little bit of out or the little bit of off-roading that I did here I can tell by the way it drives and the way it handles it's just the way this thing feels it, it almost is just it feels like it's just begging you to cut off and go up into the you know the, the outdoor world I mean it's just the way it drives the way it feels it really promotes that off-road experience that you would that you would want to be able to have in a Jeep like this um, so you know it definitely does have those capabilities and uh, you know so <clears throat> I got this thing on the highway and you know got some speed up just to see how it sort of feels you know and and more of the uh, you know work vehicle just just driving back and forth to work type of deal and the the car accelerates just you know amazingly i mean it, it's got a really responsive um um acceleration you know there's no uh huge delay or anything like that when you hit the gas you go and it's not sluggish at all it's, uh, i do feel like the the gas pedal seems a little hard that may just be because it's new but it just the, the pedal just seems sort of a solid uh it just seems solid you got to really kind of push a little bit to get the pedal to move but but if the pedal's moving there is a, a no delay or no sluggy slu sluggish type thing going on it's kind of the same type of deal i was talking about with the steering and the handling of the vehicle you feel very much in control when you you know as far as the gas and the braking and all that you just you just seem like you've yeah, you have a lot of control over your vehicle and all of it's very responsive um one thing i'm not really 
loving about this Jeep is 17 miles per gallon is what I've averaged from doing the little bit of off-roading plus uh, some highway. So 17 miles a gallon, in my opinion, is not anything impressive. I mean, size-wise, you put this Jeep next to a, a full-size pickup truck and you know you think you know a jeep like this would get an exceptionally better uh or at least you would think a jeep like this would get better a lot better gas mileage but that's not really the case so one thing that i wanted to mention that i like about the um the jeep just more uh of basically what i've been talking about you know the control of the thing and how you feel in control of it uh something that makes that even better is that you know since this is a sport you can basically drive it like a stick shift you can uh just you can use the shifter knob and you can actually switch through all five gears which is a really really awesome feature um to basically have, like i said you know put you in more control of the vehicle especially if you're done if you're doing like off-road type stuff you know you, you use that you know and you can you can be a little more tactile or more um in control with of different scenarios when you're doing that kind of thing all right so we talked about basically how it drives how it feels and you know we talked about how it's 17 miles per gallon on average we talked about how um it, you can drive it like a stick shift and actually shift through the five speeds now that we've talked about all that i want to show you guys some some of the interior and talk about a little bit about what i like and don't like about the interior so first and foremost this model doesn't have a whole lot of um awesomeness in this area the stereo is just kind of a the, the stereo is just kind of a plain james um it's not a touchscreen lcd or anything like that it's just a um you know you have your cd player you got your AM FM. Um, you do have an auxiliary uh, input, which is kind of nice. Um, you got your presets and basically volume, power button, and over here is your uh, how you adjust your bass and all that good stuff. Um, mids, treble, balance, fade. So there's nothing real big and fancy. I know. These Jeeps do come with an Alpine system. However, this one does not. Um, one cool feature that I don't know if I like or dislike yet. These buttons here are for the windows. So if you want to roll your window down, your button is up here. I was like, how do you, how do you roll the window down? And you know, and then I found these buttons. I don't know if I like it or dislike it. It is kind of a neat little thing. As far as your AC and your heat, it's just real simple. You got your fan here. Uh, you got your cold, hot. They're all just knobs. And then you have your modes where you want your vent to blow. You have your, you push that for your uh, defroster. And yeah, pretty straightforward there. Um, what I would like to see is instead of just the regular 12 volt. Uh, DC um, cigarette lighter type of uh, charger here what I would like to see is a already pre-made uh, USB port I know a lot of newer vehicles come now with a USB port already there slip resistant I think that's what that is anti-slip resistant it might be downhill assist I believe is what that is I'm not 100% sure on that one your mirror adjustments are down here as well as far as storage, there's a uh, there's a mesh little deal here. You can put whatever you want. You can put your wallet, put your whatever you need to put down in there. And there's also a little small tray down here. Uh, cup holders, you got two cup holders in the center. And then on the side, there's no cup holders. You do have another mesh type of deal. You have your shifter knob here that's park, reverse, neutral, drive. And then this is how you take advantage of that feature to you know in sport mode it's sort of a slap shift type of deal you can switch through the gears uh, like that and then of course you've got your four wheel drive shifter knob with four wheel high four wheel low now as far as what you're able to see on the dash you have 
different modes and I'll switch through them here so you can see right now we have the temperature and the direction or your heading uh, displayed you can cycle through there's uh, proof that I'm telling you that 17 miles per gallon on average um, I did get pick up a point one there so maybe maybe we're getting better gas mileage that that this will tell you how much how many miles you have left in the tank and that's your as far as your display modes go that pretty much sums that up so as far as the steering wheel goes you've got your cruise control settings on the right side and then on the left you've got the button I was using to go through the display modes and a reset button directly behind these buttons on the back side of the steering wheel there is a there's buttons on the left and right side on the right side the buttons back here is uh, the volume it's a volume for your stereo on the left side there's buttons behind here as well that will actually seek it's a seek button to find music on the radio or it's also a preset button that you can cycle through your presets and yeah so there's buttons on the back side of the steering wheel <laughs> sounds kind of jeepy as far as features and all that stuff go that pretty much covers it i'm gonna basically just show you guys what the interior looks like and talk to you guys about some of the things that i like and dislike about it it's just it's all cloth um they're comfortable seats have actually a lot very comfortable uh, for a Jeep I think the uh, the armrest here is a, is a nice uh, it's, a, it's got some padding it's a little cushiony it's not probably the most comfortable thing in the world but you know it's not hard plastic it is there is a little bit of cushion to it the center console has a couple different storage features you have a little tray there to put wallet phone whatever you got and then you can open up the whole thing which yeah, pretty good amount of storage in there it's a pretty deep uh, center console and so that's that one thing I don't like is the carpet as you can see um, if you do off-road and do things that this Jeep is designed for you're gonna have a lot of, of what you see you know a lot of um, dirt is gonna get tracked in and out and I wish it was something more a little easier to clean um, I'm sure that's an option that you can get with these Jeeps, but I just, I'm just not big on carpet, especially for a vehicle like this one. So that's something you might want to uh, consider. As far as adjusting the seat, you have this giant knob here that actually lifts your seat. I mean, maybe you're a shorter person or a taller person. I like it down, sort of a pumping action here. And then this here will adjust the the back. So, so that's pretty much covers the seats. As far as the back goes, um, as you can see, there's a couple cup holders back here, and just like the front, you've got some buttons here to uh, put your windows up and down. Again, a feature that I'm not sure if I like or dislike. It's plenty of plenty of room. This seat is up a little bit, but I'm pretty sure I could ride back here pretty comfortably, even with someone up there. Um, pretty good amount of space. Um, so, you know, it is doable. They're very um, upright seats back here. It's very hard feeling. I don't know about, a, a, you know, a long trip, but, you know, I could, I could probably manage riding back here one thing i do not like about it is there's nowhere really to put your arm back here there's no real armrests there's like this little nub that it's kind of like a pretend armrest there's no way i would definitely be calling shotgun so getting out of that back of that jeep was like crawling through a tunnel the door opening is not yeah it was it was fun just open this and this whole thing opens like that now looks kind of crazy but the reason for that is because now that you can open this and now you can see that you have this giant opening and one thing I love about this trunk situation is this is an eight foot 
flipping rod that I have in here and it fits perfectly there's a surface here where I can fit my rods and it sits there out of the way and leaves space to put tackle whatever else I want to take on my adventure there's plenty of space to fit under those rods and I don't have to worry about breaking my rods or taking up uh, unnecessary space with those rods so as you can see I've got some tackle in here some bank hopping stuff that I normally take um, there's plenty plenty more space to take more stuff um, camping stuff all that there's plenty of that so as far as space wise goes I mean it's not bad um, it's almost like I wish the those seats would be a little further back it would free up some car seat space if you wanted to have this as a family vehicle slash you know fisherman guy that I am let's let's bring those seats back just a little bit free up some car car seat space and that way it's easier to convince my wife that hey this is the perfect car for us so plenty of space back here I just thought I'd show you that little feature here how you can you can there's a there's some surface there so you can have your rods up out of the way and not have to worry about them it would be great if there was some type of way to access this trunk without opening this whole tailgate because that would be super handy if I if I'm bank hopping and I pull up to a body of water and I just want to grab my rods I, w I wouldn't have to open this tailgate and then open this to get my rods out just something I thought I'd share with you guys not a big thing I'm sort of nitpicking but hey why not show you um, so that's that's the trunk something kind of cool I wanted to show you guys as far as having more space than you think you have is you can you can lower these seats here and make even more space and that headrest um, is designed I didn't break it it's designed to do that and you can also do that on that side and have this all flat storage space if you wanted to go buy furniture whatever you wanted to do for the most part you would be able to free up some space for that so I just thought I'd show you that real quick all right guys so as far as what's under the hood it's a v6 I mean that's pretty cut and dry stuff we're dealing with here I don't know if all Jeep Wranglers are like this. I'm not a Jeep um, freak or anything. It looks like the ABS is way better, easier to access. Uh, fuse box here. The battery is on the back left side. Really nice look under the hood. And yeah. That's going to cover my little first impression of this vehicle. It just really is just this tank built feeling um, in control of where you want to go, when you want to go type of vehicle. And I just thought I'd share it with you guys. I'm going to use it for a little bit. And if I come up on any kind of um, awesome new feature or any kind of negatives, I'll be sure to uh, go down and comment on this video and keep you guys posted as far as that goes so that's going to do it for this video thank you guys for tuning in and subscribing and thanks for letting me do this video on this channel it's not a video I normally do for this type of um, channel but I thought you know it would be fitting because it is an off-road type of vehicle and it does fit within that angler niche and so yeah Thanks for watching guys, thanks for subscribing, leave me a comment and uh, we'll see you guys on the next one.